Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. So here we are finally in live recording. Yay! You can see me spasm the mouse all over the place. So as most of you probably know, up to this point the video or footage has been pre-recorded back in 2008 and uh, 2011 for some of the newer episodes. But now it's finally here live recording while I'm actually playing. So uh, let's get this going by a request someone had which was to do a sort of overview of the park to see what I've done so far. And that's a good place to start. Let's zoom out. Maybe not this far, a bit closer. There we go. So you can see the whole place. Uh, let's go through the themed areas. Over here we have some Egyptian stuff with the log flume and such. Take a closer look. And there's the uh, twister right underneath that building and this uh, simulator over there in the pyramid and this original bazaar right here. And then over here we got the Roman stuff, uh, the first roller coaster, the locust swarm. Uh, let you take a look at the hoops, that's the banana boats, that's not the coaster, here we go. Take a look at the uh, test results there, pause the video if you don't see them fast enough. And then over here we got the magic carpet ride and the uh, top spin called the catapult. And then there's the maze over here and the circus maximus. Alright, that's the Roman area, then we're moving on to the pirate area. Here we have the Curse of the Black Pearl, which I believe was one of the first rides that I built. And this was pretty early too, Davy Jones' locker, the splash boats. And then all around goes the coaster, swashbuckler, it's a wooden one as you can see, and this was the third coaster in this park, I believe. And um, then moving on to the giant garden themed area. This is uh, the second newest themed area, I believe. It's got only gentle rides. The uh, slippery slide over here. May go around on this hill. And uh, secret garden maze in the corner. So that's that. Moving on to over here where we have the abstract themed area or space themed or whatever. Uh, we've got the Roto Drop, I believe, was one of the first rides as well. And this Enterprise ride as, was one of those as well. Newer ones are the uh, Flying Saucers over there and the Space Ring right here. And of course we have the Chairlift which takes you over here to the Pirate themed area. And there we have the newest coaster, hyperventilation. Take a look at the results if you want. And let's see how much money it's making at the moment. Uh, 17,000, almost 18,000 per hour, nice. As I mentioned in the previous episode, it went up to 56 at some point. But it's not that pop popular anymore, so not that much money but still pretty good and then over here we have the uh, formerly named Space Mountain which I'm gonna rename right now to back oops gonna capitalize back to the future maybe it should be part three because that's the movie that uh, where they went into the wild west but, oh well let's just leave it at that for now <coughs> so over here we have the second newest themed area the mining stuff there's no rides here except of course the third coaster the mini coaster but I'll eventually build some more stuff oh yeah I forgot I uh, should mention while we're zoomed out like this what plans I have for the new themed areas so I was thinking of expanding the mining and wild west theme stuff over here and maybe a triple coaster of some type over there I was thinking the uh, what's it called the mine ride this one 
because that fits nicely with the Wild West theme. And then over here I was thinking maybe a jungle area right here. That would tie in nicely with the pirate theme. And then uh, some Asian area themed area maybe over here or, or on this side. Not sure which one yet. And then some urban stuff over here somewhere. So there you have it. Let's see, what should I do next? Oh yeah, let's go on to the list of things that I want to fix. Things that I've picked up while doing the editing the previous episodes up to this point. So let's start off with the uh, circus over here. I was gonna do some repairs like adding the forge statue over here. Maybe it got destroyed at some point, I don't know. There you go. And then the other thing I was gonna do was add some signs like over here. Let's color that white and red. I don't wanna say catacombs on it. Change it to circus. Maximus. Uh, let's copy paste that actually, so I can do it on the other side. Oh, that's the wrong one. This one. There we go. And then, uh, I probably didn't mention this sign, but there's a sign here that says Circus Maximus Exodus. <laughs> so I was thinking of putting a similar one on this side, or classical star one, like so. Circus Maximus Entrus. <laughs> that's that. Alright, moving on to... Oh yeah, one of the uh, tasks was to rebuild this because guests aren't probably play paying. Oh well, looks like that they are right now. <laughs> one of them is even saying that it's really good value oh well let's keep it up then no need for rebuilding but one of the tasks was to check the other rides if people are still paying because it's been a while since I've done that I've focused on scenery for the last few episodes let's see there's some people in this queue yeah not many but some uh, these guys are all good. But this one, yeah, there's people in it. Uh, looking good. But, oh, but this one, yeah, two guys in there as well. What about the chair? If there's some guys, yep. That's good. Oh, wow, it looks like everything's good. <laughs> I could have sworn that when I uh, checked on this save earlier, there were some rides that people weren't going into because of the ticket price. Okay, that's done then. Moving on to the next one. Uh, let's see, I wanted to add some palm trees over here. Let's go ahead with that. I like this, tri this type of palm tree because it looks like less of a cardboard cutout than this one so I'll use these at least for now spice it up yeah you can already see some here so might as well use the same type again more palms palms okay I think that's good at least for now um, then on to the next task, which is to add music. Let's put some Egyptian on this one. And then some uh, Roman style somewhere. You can't put them on either of these, so I guess it's gotta be one of these. Or the coaster, maybe. Uh, that's more uh, Arabic style, so let's put it on the catapult. 
Roman, Roman, where are you? Roman fanfare style. They really should uh, organize these by alphabet. Would be much easier to find. Um, then next we have some pirate music. Let's put it... Uh, let's see, there's the fairground organ over here, so... Mm, let's put it on J.D. Jones' locker. Pirate, pirate, where are you? There it is. Can't really hear it though. The Roman one's overpowering it. I'll barely hear it. Okay, uh, next. Some space style music somewhere over here. Let's see how. I think one of these is playing rock. Yeah, it's this one, so I'm gonna change that to space. Damn, the Wild West one is over overpowering this. Can't hear it. Well, it's there somewhere. Alrighty, what's next? Uh, back to the future. I did that renaming already. And then, uh, oh yeah, I've got to uh, fix the fences over here. Put some behind these stalls that got removed at some point. Mm, I think we're good on that side. How about over here? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Maybe a few more palm trees. Bloop. Uh, okay, on to the next one. Um, hmm. Wow, it's really weird. I had written down to rebuild the uh, the circus maze banana boats uh, and uh, yeah those three but people are still going into them <laughs> and they're even saying that it's really good valley that's really weird i could have sworn they were saying i'm not paying that much oh well it saves me the trouble let's see what's next uh oh, oh yeah fix this ugly Ugly roof thing of Bob here. Uh, let's just remove it all together. Start over. Uh, I was thinking of putting these types somewhere instead of those uh, closed ones. Uh, let's see, maybe like so every second. And then uh, uh, let's just put these on here, like, so it has at least some windows, not entirely closed up. And then the roof, uh, let's use the same one, but do something different with it. Uh, like this, maybe. And then... Uh, Oh yeah, I can, this is a good place to demonstrate uh, how to use the control key properly. I'll give credit to Mr. Landher111. You may also know him as Cyclops Pirate or XI Duty First. So the trick is, uh, I already placed this roof at the correct height by using the shift key like this. And then I'll point the mouse at it like this and then press control to move the cursor like this so I can put it on any square at the same height. Oh and also credit to Micah the zombie who reminded me of this trick. Uh, Landher told me about it a year or two or three ago, I don't know what time but long ago anyway and then I forgot about it because I wasn't playing at that time. Alrighty then uh, Let's see, I can't fit a roof there, so I'll have to do something different with this ending. Uh, let's see, can I fit a um, 
some kind of base block. Make it some kind of color that resembles these roofs. Let's try this one. Yeah, let's put that there. And then these over here. That works. There we go, much nicer than before. It's not not perfect, but oh well. <laughs> There's not really room to do do anything really fancy. Oh wait, maybe I could uh, do something here. Let's see. Uh, let's try like this, and then. Uh, hmm. <coughs> But I, uh, now I don't like that it's uh, showing through, you can see the paths. Maybe something like this, or hmm. Nah, let's just leave it the way it was, that was better. Come on, get out of here. There we go. Boop. And boop. Okay. 